2023 has given us so many fantastic indie titles like Cassette Beasts, Dredge, Oxenfree 2, Pizza Tower, Sea of Stars, and Cocoon. Now it's 2024's turn to wow us with all the clever, unique, and innovative ideas indie game developers have in store for us. Hello and welcome to Retrocade. Let's look at the 20 most exciting new indie games of 2024. At number 20, we have Shim. A shim is the soul and spirit of a thing. In this game, you need to get your separated shim back before it's too late. There's a catch though, your shim can only travel through shadows, which means you'll have to jump from shadow to shadow in large 3D environments to travel if you don't want to lose your shim forever. The 3D environments themselves look wonderful, boasting a unique look from the crowded indie platformer genre, and how well the colors and style complement the gameplay makes things even better. At number 19, we have Troubleshooting. We all remember how messy and confusing computers were in the early 2000s, especially when it was a shared family computer. What if an FPS was set inside such a computer filled with sketchy files and disorganized folders? Now that's a creative game. Troubleshooting has you playing as a JPEG on a quest to save a computer by hunting viruses. Throughout, you'll fix the Wi-Fi, organize the messy desktop, make friends with files, and more. Next at number 18, we have Hollow Knight Silksong. The sequel to 2017's hit Metroidvania Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight Silksong, was announced back in 2019. Team Cherry announced, back in May 2023, that the game was originally planned for a release in the first half of 2023, but development is still continuing. Still, it's also quite comforting, knowing Team Cherry is putting in the time and effort to make this game as terrific a sequel as it can be. Hollow Knight was a near-perfect game, with mesmerizing world building and just the right level of difficulty. Next at number 17, we have Bits and Bops. Bits and Bops is another soon-to-be-released rhythm game, but unlike Thrasher, this one aims to enchant through cute and funny visuals rather than kaleidoscopic ones. With charming hand-drawn animation and humorous scenarios for its stages, this collection of over 20 rhythm minigames ranges from trying to take a picture of a seal playing with a ball to helping a robot and his backup dancers breakdance in time to the beat. Hilarious and exciting, Bits and Bops looks to be a fast winner for any rhythm game lover. Next at number 16, we have Mina the Hollower. From the team that brought us Shovel Knight comes Mina the Hollower, another 2D platformer that boasts great pixel art, addictive gameplay, and fun music. Following Mina, a renowned hollower, on a desperate mission to rescue a cursed island filled with a cast of bizarre characters, the game doesn't seem too far off from the look and style of Shovel Knight, but has enough to keep it its own thing. From the trailers, the game utilizes an angled top-down perspective and looks to prioritize exploration within levels rather than just mostly straightforward paths, almost like Shovel Knight meeting Hyperlight Drifter. Next at number 15, we have Scarlet Deer Inn. Narrative indie platformers are a dime a dozen these days. This list alone has multiple of them. However, Scarlet Deer Inn has one thing that very much makes it stand out, not just from other 2D platformers, but animation in general. All the character images were embroidered. Seeing the process of how the designers were able to achieve such an animation style is quite mesmerizing and the backgrounds are beautifully hand-painted as well. But the game doesn't just promise impressive visuals. The music was also done by the husband and wife design team themselves, utilizing traditional instruments such as the flute and mandolin to capture that folklore atmosphere. At number 14, we have Replaced. We told you 80s nostalgia wasn't dying anytime soon. Replaced is a 2D sci-fi platformer set in an alternative retro-futuristic 1980s, one filled with neon lights, robots, and high-tech transportation. Just from visuals alone, Replaced is dazzling with its detailed pixel art and Blade Runner-esque set designs. 
but the gameplay looks riveting as well, with exciting action and combat, and intriguing storytelling. The player plays as Reach, an artificial intelligence trapped in a human body, striving to adjust to human life in Phoenix City, where everything is ruled by corruption and greed, and humans and their organs are seen as nothing more than currency. Take it away from me. At number 13, we have Paralives. Winner of the 2020, most anticipated Canadian game, Paralives looks to be the long overdue worthy competitor to the Sims franchise. With an emphasis on being a realistic life sim, the game allows players to create their parafolk, build their dream homes, take care of their pets, grow their careers, make friends, explore hobbies and more. It's an open world with opportunities for adventure and fun just around every corner. Because the game was funded through the crowdfunding platform Patreon, designer Alex Massey encouraged backers to offer ideas and suggestions to really make Paralives the great life simulator it deserves to be. Next at number 12, we have Billy Bust Up. Between this, Mouse Enchanted Portals and Galaxy Taxi, Cuphead is shaping up to be not just one of the most successful, but also one of the most influential indie games of all time. However, nobody could call Billy Bust Up a Cuphead clone as the title's a 3D platformer. The game's a musical too, of all things. The battles are platforming, rhythm-based challenges, and each main character has their own signature song. Next at number 11, we have World of Goo 2. Back in 2008, the original World of Goo was an early example of an indie game, becoming a big hit, largely thanks to its release on the Wii. With the player using balls of goo to create bridges over obstacles and such, the simple yet addictive gameplay was perfect for the Wii's pointer functionality. Original game developers 2D Boy are still the team for this one, teaming up with Tomorrow Corporation, developers of Little Inferno, and have stated that this is the biggest game they've ever made, which only makes the wait even more exciting. Based on the reveal trailer, the game looks to be a bigger, brighter, and better extension of the first game. We're happy to finally be returning to the world of Goo 15 years later. Next at number 10, we have Hades 2. A sequel to one of the most praised indie games of the 2020s, Hades II is probably the most anticipated indie game release of next year, as it's set to enter early access in early 2024. While delays can happen, Supergiant Games would be wise to walk the line between long enough that the game is given due attention, and short enough that the fanbase doesn't get frustratingly exhausted from waiting. Based on the announcement trailer, the gameplay looks largely similar to the original, but Supergiant does promise a bigger, deeper mythic world and an all-new action-packed experience. I was born for this. You trifle with powers. Learning about people is a kind of adventure. Next at number nine, we have Harold Halibut. Stop-motion animation is a miracle to pull off, regardless of whether you're making a short, movie, or in Harold Halibut's case, video game. You certainly don't come across a stop-motion video game every day, and Harold Halbert's animation looks utterly stunning, with several moments in the trailer making you wonder how they were able to animate such a scene. Gameplay-wise, the game is a story-rich walking simulator following Harold, a young lab assistant living in a spaceship that spent 250 years in space trying to find a habitable planet to preserve the human race. Alien radio drama? Professor, would you like to sit? Next at number 8, we have Pixelshire. Pixelshire looks so sweet and relaxing, it could easily earn a place alongside beloved cozy games like Stardew Valley and Little Wood. Breathe life into the town of Pixelshire by building and growing the town, designing it to your liking, mastering trades, growing friendships with your neighbors, and exploring the rich continent of Arcadia. With procedurally generated islands and a large cast of characters you can befriend and help out, Pixelshire feels like a warm hug of a game. There's a reason why cozy gaming has gotten so popular as of late. That's because, with how busy and stressful life can get, it's nice to just play an easy and non-demanding game where you grow plants, build items, and interact with nice people. Pixelshire might be the next farming sim title to take over your life. Ah! 
Next at number seven, we have Pepper Grinder. The 2D action game Pepper Grinder will finally allow you to live out that dream. The game centers around a seafarer named Pepper who gets her treasure stolen after a nasty shipwreck. Luckily, she's got Grinder, her super-powered drilling device, and together, they'll dive in and out of the earth like a dolphin swims through water to reclaim her treasure and even collect other riches during the adventure. It's a delightfully silly premise, but the game is no joke, requiring precise movements, quick finger movements, and smart leaps if you want to be able to beat the game. The trailer boasts rich levels with fast-paced obstacles and challenging boss fights, and all that digging, exploring, and grinding looks absolutely addictive. The game also boasts luscious colors with its charming pixel art and character designs, making Pepper Grinder an indie title to watch for 2024. Next at number six, we have the Plucky Squire. Everything about the Plucky Squire looks straight up enchanting. Taking place inside a storybook whose villain is hell-bent on changing the ending, the game follows Joy and his friends as they jump in and out of the book and between 2D and 3D worlds to save their storybook and restore their happy ending. It's a plot straight out of a Disney movie, and everything about the game's marketing makes it clear the developers truly want to capture that childlike wonder with its bright colors, friendly character designs, and stunning worlds. ...the two realms, if they are to save their beloved land from his dire... Next, at number five, we have Thrasher. 2016's Thumper is one of the coolest games on the planet, indie or otherwise. A rhythm game filled with psychedelic visuals and intense music, the reception of the game was overwhelmingly positive. Of course, the announcement of a spiritual sequel called Thrasher would make fans ecstatic, and Thrasher looks to be another mind-melting game unlike anything else. Next at number four, we have Haunty. Twin-stick shooters have never looked or felt this haunting. Haunty follows a brave ghost named Haunty, who must explore open-ended environments to uncover the story of her past life. Whichever path you take, there'll always be something around the corner, waiting to be discovered. Haunty Eye's beautiful visuals alone make for a hypnotizing offering, but the soundtrack sounds downright ethereal as well, creating a gripping atmosphere as the player roams this spirit world in a quest to discover their past. A mixture of combat and puzzle challenges, Haunty might join the likes of Limbo, Inside, and Little Nightmares as breathtakingly eerie games with a heavy emphasis on a slow burn pace and contemplative atmosphere. And... Mega! <gasps> well then... Next at number three, we have Locomotive. Set on board a 1930s express train, Locomotive is a point-and-click mystery about a murder taking place on the Reus Express and the strange and quirky passengers, who all could be suspects. The obvious inspiration here is Agatha Christie's murder on the Orient Express. However, Locomotive takes a more comedic and upbeat approach. Point-and-clicks are rather infamous for having extremely difficult puzzles with nonsensical solutions. But this game promises to offer puzzles that, while challenging, won't leave you head-scratching for hours. Inspired them to murder in the first place. Locations impacted in the sectors. Next at number two, we have Pacific Drive. A story-rich first-person survival game, Pacific Drive has you driving across a surreal reimagining of the Pacific Northwest, one that's filled with eerie happenings and supernatural dangers. You'll have to drive like hell to make it through alive. Your car is your lifeline, and while you do get out and walk around from time to time, you're much more vulnerable when you're not in the driver's seat. Luckily, the game allows you to customize your ride, experiment with different car parts, and upgrade how you see fit. And first in our list is Retrowave World. Retrowave World looks to be a superlative open world version of the game Retrowave an indie racing game drenched with 80s aesthetic and synthwave music. 
As both games were developed by Rewind App, Retrowave World promises to double down on the futuristic 80s escapism, living in a world filled with neon lights and nostalgia. With over 50 different synthwave tracks and palm trees and supercars everywhere, Retrowave World allows players to customize their cars and drive through the different worlds, visit the VHS store, play games at the arcade, make deliveries, earn money, challenge other players to races, and more. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.